Yo, what's up, Swag? And you already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, Keon Lawn, a.k.a. KL Swag. Back here with a video, man. Look, man, we about to react to microphone, bro. Back here again with another video, man. This is a horrible look for the New York Giants, bro. I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm like, a day late, two days late, bro. Um, So, look, man, let's check it out, bro. Let's see what he's talking about, man. So, I was minding my own business. Minding my business, too. And then, my man, SFC times TMB tagged me. Uh, Wait, Kadir is Tony? Our microphone at the foul work here is never done. done. And then I took a look at what he's tagging me in. It's the fact that the New York Giants are trying to trade their 2021 first round pick. Kadir is Tony. So, without a doubt, Damn. we have to break this down. They don't want him. Wow. Bro, he was a sensation in um in college. Oh my gosh, bro. He went crazy in college. Like, bro, when he played for Florida, bro. Mm. Oh my gosh. Hey, man, he probably ain't doing his. Doing is doing so doing so well in the NFL right now. What's going on, everybody? Make sure you drop a like because this is our second upload of the day. Back to back double upload days, and we're back again here today. So for those of you guys that don't know who Kadarius Tony is, last year everybody and their mother knew that the New York Giants were targeting a wide receiver in the NFL draft. Okay. It's actually pretty comical what ended up happening to them. Originally, it seemed like the New York Giants would be in a good situation to potentially draft Devon. What? Devontae Smith? Bro, he was going crazy with the Eagles, bro. Tenth pick, Devontae Smith was still available. But the Dallas Cowboys had that pick, and they didn't need a wide receiver. They had Amari Cooper, Michael Gallup, and C.D. Lamb at the time. Damn. But unfortunately, the Dallas Cowboys target, Patrick Sertan II, was officially off the board. So what did they wow. end up doing? They traded that pick to the Philadelphia Eagles, who traded up to the 10th overall spot, which would literally leapfrog the New York Giants. Damn. Devontae Smith. The Dallas Cowboys traded up to number 12 and select Michael Parsons after Devontae Smith. When the New York Giants saw that the Philadelphia Eagles drafted Devontae Smith, they decided to trade back with the Chicago Bears. Which is kind of unfortunate because Rayshon Slater was still available to be drafted. Ultimately, the New York Giants would trade all the way back to the 20th overall spot and draft Kadarius Tony, one of the speediest wide receivers in the NFL draft. Bro, he's a human joystick. But ultimately, coming into last season, I had a lot of faith in the New York Giants wide receiver core. I mean, they went ahead and broke the bank on signing Kenny Galladay, which is a player that I was always a big fan of. Yeah, me too. But what next would be an absolute shock to everyone. The New York Giants would have an absolutely horrific season underneath Joe Judge's final season. Kenny Galladay and Kadarius Tony, the first round pick for the New York Giants, and the highest paid wide receiver from last year's free agency period, wouldn't even score a single touchdown. However, Kadarius Tony did a very promising whatever he did take the field. Although he didn't really produce as such, only putting up 420 receiving yards for 10.8 yards per reception. It's okay. still something that you could build off of, especially considering the fact that that was his age. I mean, that was just his first year, though. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like he's going to be building off of anything anymore because the New York Giants are officially trying to trade him. Now, this is coming to us from an individual that I personally am not familiar with, Pat Leonard, who is a NFL columnist and a Giants beat writer. Oh, man. So the writer comes out and says that a player that he beat writes for is in trade talks, and that's something that you could trust even though you may have never heard of him before. But ultimately, this rumor is probably going to get shut down. Whether it's Damn, man, the angle is slapping. To break it down, the New York Giants are seeking a trade for 2021 first round pick, wow. Tony. 
Now, now why is this happening currently? A few days ago, the New York, New York Giants had voluntary workouts and Kadarius Tony was nowhere to be found. What? He missing practice? The workouts? In cleaning up the team. I mean, they will happily cut a player that is really talented just to make an example out of them, mainly because they're not as emotionally invested in that player because they didn't select that player. They didn't acquire that player and they were hired for a reason. Damn. This is a huge reason. Why, why you saw players like Saquon Barkley in trade rumors earlier in the offseason. Because the New York Giants were evaluating as many options as they possibly could to improve their roster. And their general manager wasn't nearly as emotionally invested in Saquon Barkley as David Gettleman, who spent a number two overall pick in the NFL draft to draft Saquon Barkley. Now, Kadarius Tony missed voluntary workouts after an up and down rookie season, and he has not. And in this article, he has not set foot in the team facility during new head coach Brian Dable's introductory phase. Dable said that no KT is not here today. We've had good attendance. I've had talks with some of the guys that have been here, but most everybody's been here, whether they were here the first week or the second week. James Bradbury was also not there, but that's also because he's been in trade rumors all offseason long. And according to this article, it says that there are no exterior circumstances with Tony. He is coming off of a turbulent rookie season. During which he was sidelined by a variety of physical ailments and two separate positive COVID 19 tests that limited him to just 10 games. He showed flashes of the elusive talent the previous Giants from office saw in him as the number 20 pick in the 2021 NFL draft. But he was not at all consistent. He finished his first NFL season with 420 yards and 39 receptions. And so basically, they just mad about, they really just don't like his performance. Now, this is fairly significant because they didn't score a touchdown either. You want to do your best to make a good first impression because maybe that coach will involve you more in future game plans. But Brian Abel said, like I said, this is a voluntary camp. The guys that are here, we're going to work with. The guys that aren't, we're going to miss out on some things. But it's voluntary for a reason. That's the nature of the rules. I've had some good talks with KT. I've had some good talks with some of the other guys. I'm encouraged by where, where we are in terms, terms of our preparation and, and what we've been doing, and we're just going to keep moving in the right direction. Now, now the article also mentions, mentions that there's a new playbook to learn, and, and Brian Dable has not made that playbook available to you virtually. Damn. So that's the only conceivable reason I can come up with as to why the New York Giants might be trying to trade to the Aries Tony, but this is even more concerning, primarily because it's never a good sign to trade a former first-round pick one year after you drafted him, primarily because... Yeah, that's stupid, bro. Why like you didn't even give him a chance? You could get yourself a fourth-round pick for Kadarius Tony currently. Maybe you will, and if you do, you're really lucky. It's nothing against Tony, it's just at this point, he's perceived as damaged goods, and yeah. he hasn't done enough on an NFL field to convince teams that he's worth higher than that. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. What was the straw that broke the camel's back? Yeah. Ultimately, you just think of what could have been primarily because of what what the New York Giants could have had instead of Kadarius Tony is not necessarily something that New York Giants fans want to hear. Now, teams that could potentially be in on Kadarius Tony would be like the Kansas City Chiefs. They believed in him to draft him, give him in the league, and then now they want to trade him. That's tough. Additional weapons for Aaron Rodgers to try to fill the void that Devontae Adams left, although I don't think Kadarius Tony would be able to do that. I feel like it's worth at least taking a flyer on him just because of his talent. Alone. Then, then there's the New York Jets, Jets who have been <laughs> in on literally every single wide receiver. And Kadarius Tony won't have to relocate that far. And of course, the New England Patriots. So let me know in the comment section down below, especially if you're a New York Giants fan, how do you feel about this news? Aside from that, I'm your boy Mike. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Kadarius Tony, bro. Hey, I hope you do your thing, man. But oh my gosh. The team tripping. Now they're trying to trade you. They drafted you. Now they're trying to trade you. That's crazy. I mean, you only have, I mean, it's your first year. You know, you didn't have no touchdowns or whatever like that. They probably expected more out of him, and he didn't do what they expected. So that's all that is, man. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Or don't you think I'm going to get